Hello everyone, this is Dr. A and for today ay susubukan naman nating uh, umpisahan yung pagsulat ng tinatawag nating two col- column proof sa geometry. At isa sa mga challenging uh, problems to work with sa geometry ay yung pagsulat ng ating mga proofs. At sa pagsulat ng mga proofs, kinakailangan natin ng mastery noong mga theorems at properties na ginagamit natin sa mga mathematical operations sa algebra at sa geometry na gagamitin natin today. So, paano nga ba tayo gumagamit ng uh, two-column proof? Umpisahan natin syempre sa basic definition ng proof. A proof in mathematics is an argument that uses logic to establish the truth of a statement. So, hindi tayo pwedeng manghula-hula lang or magbigay lang tayo ng ating mga opinion or sa loobin doon sa mga processes sa mathematics kailangan galing ito sa established truth or mga properties na ginagamit natin na pag uh, uh, reviewin natin para makapagsagot tayo mamaya ng ating two-column proof. Now, speaking of two-column proof, it's... By definition, a two-column proof lists numbered statements on the left and corresponding numbered reasons or justification on the right. So, meron tayong left side at meron tayong right side. So, sa left side natin, y- pinapakita or sinusulat yung ating uh, mga statements at doon naman sa kabila yung ating justifications or reasons kung bakit tayo merong mga statements na ganun. So, paano ba natin i-establish yan? Gagamit tayo, syempre, ng ating mathematical properties na very basic. Umpisan muna natin sa ating mga basic properties na meron tayong addition property, subtraction property, multiplication and division properties na ginagamit natin para mag-balance na equation or mag-solve ng mga simple linear equations. So, for example, kapag kailangan, kailangan natin mag-add ng 7 on both sides to solve for x, ang tawag doon ay addition property. Pag kailangan natin mag-multiply ng negative 2x so that we can have x by itself, so tatawagin natin siyang multiplication property and so on. Gagamit din tayo ng... Ilan sa mga properties doon sa ating equation tulad ng reflexive, symmetric, transitive, and substitution properties. Now, since meron na tayong uh, kodigo, sa mga properties na gagamitin natin, subukan naman natin isulat yan gamit yung basic equation na meron tayo, which is 5x plus 12 is equal to 47. And all we need to do is to show the reason behind doon sa Line 1, at nakapunta tayo sa line 3. So, ito yung tinatawag nating two-column proof. May statements sa kaliwa at may reasons sa kanan. So, umpisahan natin yan by establishing the reason kung paano tayo nanggaling sa line 1, which is 5x plus 12 is equal to 47. At syempre, yan yung ating given statement or given problem, so lagi natin i-establish yan sa ating two-column proofs. So yan ang pinakamadaling gawin, yung line 1 ng two-column proof. Yung line 2 ng ating two-column proof, meron tayo ngayong 5x is equal to 35. Now, ang tanong, paano tayo nakapunta from 1 to 2? And we know, algebraically, we subtracted 12 on both sides, so 47 minus 12 is 35, at 5x na lang yung natira dito sa equation or side ng equation na ito. At since gumamit tayo ng operation of subtraction, ito yung tinatawag nating subtraction property of equality. So yan yung ating reason number one. So ganyan lang kasimple yung ginagawa natin. From step 1, paano tayo nakapunta sa step 2? At from step 2, paano tayo nakapunta sa step 3? At si step 3, meron tayong x is equal to 7. And we know that we're able to go from 2 to 3 by dividing 5 on both sides. So, ang reason natin ngayon would be division property of equality. Now, 
Medyo abbreviation lang yung ginagawa ko dahil alam naman natin na dun sa slides natin, nandito yung mga reasons natin from going from step 1 all the way to step 3. Now, sa susunod natin example, para lang masanay tayo sa paggawa na, or pagsulat ng ating mga two-column proof because tulad na sinabi ko, Practice is key when we are working with skills in mathematics and working or mastering our skill in writing proofs may take a while para makuha natin yan. So, kailangan lang natin ng mas maraming examples at mas maraming practice. So, from here, paano tayo nakapunta from 7x minus 10 times the quantity 5 plus 3x is equal to 2x all the way to Negative 2 is equal to x. So, the first line, ang pinakamadaling uh, reason na pwede nating i-formulate ay syempre ito yung ating given statement. At yung ating susunod na linya, paano tayo nakapunta from line 1 to line 2, alam natin na dinistribute natin si negative 10 sa 5 plus 3x. So, we're able to write 7x minus 50 minus 30x equal to 2x. So, ang sulat natin dyan ay yung distributive or the multiplication property. So, pwedeng multiply, pwedeng distributive, both, of course, are correct. Now, paano naman tayo nakapunta patungo sa negative 23x minus 50 is equal to 2x? We know na kinumbine natin si 7x minus 30x, kaya meron tayo negative 23x. And the process that we use to go from line 2 to line 3 is... Simplifying or combining like terms. At yung ating susunod na linya, paano naging negative 50 is equal to 25x, yung ating uh, um, equation, inad natin si negative 23x sa magkabilang sides para 2x minus 23x is equal to 25x. And this is how we used our addition property of equality to be able to go from here to here kasi we need to add 23x on both sides para makancel natin ito. At ang last line natin, from here to x is equal to 2, of course, we know that we divided both sides by 25, kaya meron tayo ngayong x is equal to negative 2 at ang ginamit natin dyan ay division property of equality. At yan yung mga reasons or mga steps kung paano tayo magsulat ng two-column proof. At kung gusto nyo pang ma-practice yung inyong pagsulat ng two-column proofs, you can start with certain processes na alam na alam niyo, Like, paano ba maggawa uh, ng sunny side up mula sa hilaw na itlog. So, mula sa hilaw na itlog, all the way to uh, sunny side up na luto, isulat niyo yung mga processes. So, para rin lang kayong nagluluto ng itlog kapag ka gumagamit kayo ng two-column proof. Now, ang challenge na lang is kailangan alam niyo yung mga process kung paano kayo gumagawa ng mga procedures and steps mathematically. Ang algebra, madali ng pag-aralan, basta alam natin yung ating mga properties at mga theorems. Geometry, parehas rin lang. So, kailangan lang natin yung mga terminologies na ginagamit natin sa geometry. So, for the next problem that we're going to be proving, gagamit tayo ng mga Geometric properties or properties of equality involving geometric figure, meron tayong reflexive property, symmetric property, and transitive property. At ito yung mga properties na yan kapag ginamit natin sa mga problems involving angles. And speaking of angles, let's work with this problem. So, meron tayong given. Ang given dito ay sabi dito, si angle 1 ay equal to, equal to angle 3. And what we need to do is to prove na yung measurement ni B, A, G, yung angle na yan ay kaparehas ng measurement ni angle E, A, C. And to be able to prove that, we need to show or write out some mathematical procedures para dyan. At yung line 1 nga natin na laging madali is syempre isulat yung ating given doon sa ating proof. At ang given statement natin is yung measurement ng angle 1 ay equal to angle 3. Now, all we need to do is to write out the second line of our statement and to show this, you will, you will notice na meron siyang related angle or si 
B A G at si E A C ay related kay angle 2. So what we can do is to show that angle 2 or the measurement of angle 2 is equal to itself. At para lang ma-establish natin na connected siya or related siya dito sa dalawang angles natin kay B A G at E A C. Kaya si angle 2 or measurement ng angle 2 ay equal to each other. At yan yung tinatawag natin reflexive property. And now that we're able to establish the connection between angle 2 to angle 1 and 3, let's show naman that yung measurement ni angle 1 at ni angle 2, kapag inad natin yan, ay kaparehas lamang ng measurement ni angle 3 at ni angle 2 bilang congruent naman si angle 1 at saka si angle 3. So, that particular step is what we're going to write here. So, measurement of angle 1, plus measurement of angle 2 is equal to the measurement of angle 3 at angle 2. Ang tanong na lang is ano ba yung process na ginamit natin to achieve that? At yung ating process dyan, mula doon sa operation itself, is what we call as the addition property of equality. And now, pwede na natin establish na yung ating measurement of angle 1 plus measurement of angle 2 ay parehas lamang ng measurement ni angle B, A, G at yung 3 and 2 ay parehas ni E, A, C. At yan yung pwede natin isulat sa line 4 na kung saan ang measurement ng angle 1 plus measurement of angle 2 is simply B, A, G at si E, A, C ay si 3 and 2 naman. At since ginamit natin yung property na yan, yan yung tinatawag natin angle addition postulate dahil pinapakita lang natin na yung mga sums na yan ay kaparehas lang ng ating related angles doon sa given problem. At since na-establish na natin yung relationship nila, pwede na natin ngayong i-substitute na si B, A, G at si E, A, C ay magkaparehas lamang dahil magkaparehas ito ng ating mga measures mula sa line so from here, we're able to establish reason number 5 which is the substitution property dahil sinubstitute lang natin yung expression natin which is in relation sa expression ng measurement ng BAG. So yan yung ating two column proofs na again, kailangan lang natin maging analytical and also understand yung mga properties ng ginagamit natin sa geometry to be able to write a two-column proof similar to what we just did. Kaya ang ating number bender challenge for the day, ito yung ating uh, algebra or geometric angle problem. Na andito na yung mga statements. All you need to do is to tell me in this order kung ano ba yung mga reasons dito sa ating two column proof. Comment it down below para maumpisahan nyo na yung pagpa-practice nyo ng ating two column proof dahil nga sabi ko sa inyo in any math skill laging mahirap sa umpisa ng ating pag-aaral ng ating mga new concepts. At pagtagal, the more practice we do, the more expert we become and to be able to do that we need to start from level zero. So to be able to be more confident in writing a two-column proof, kailangan lang ng mas maraming practice. This is Dr. E and see you again next time.